Well, let me tell you about my lamb crop this year as I take, let you take a look at the, at the girls laying around. You'll notice there's not as many. I had 12 mamas and I sold four of them. One of them was Elvis that just crying all the time. I just couldn't stand her. And I sold uh, a couple that, you know, were, were really good. One, one of them, I, I really hated to sell her. She was one of my favorites, eat out of my hand. But she just didn't bring a good, uh, she had twins, but just did not, I don't know, just didn't raise them well. Just They just never really grew out right. Uh, as opposed to the rest of them. I'll show you one of them in just a minute. I've still got a couple of lambs left. That's number 20. She made me two pretty ones. In fact, I'll show you her lamb in just a minute. Um, had 19 lambs uh, out of 12 ewes. So uh, one of them uh, did not get pregnant at all. And she left. Uh not on her own. I sold her. <laughs> she, uh, bless you. She, uh, she didn't get pregnant. I don't know. I, I have a feeling she was pregnant. She was bred. And when I had that incident with my donkey, uh, picking up one of them and slinging it around, I'm afraid the donkey attacked her too. If they have any kind of, uh, injury, um, within the first month or two, it's really, uh, probable that they're going to abort. So I have a feeling that's what happened to her. Last year she had a lamb. She had one. I was expecting two out of her this year and her twin sister is laying over there. Uh, in fact, I see her twin sister is the one laying right there on the first one laying there on the left. And she had twins. So I was expecting twins out of the other one too. Anyway, did not have twins. Did not have anything. So I sold, uh, I sold her and Three others, three other mamas. Sold all the babies except two. Uh, one of them, well, actually three. One of them um, is going to be my nephew's herd sire, his flock sire. Uh, and I'll give him that one in uh, probably about a month. And then the... Um, the other one I castrated, I will be putting that one in the freezer. And the third one uh, died. It was uh, just about a month ago. And nice, healthy. Uh, nothing wrong with it. I'm gonna, I did a video on it. I'll be showing you the lamb autopsy real soon. I was hoping to get with the vet that he would check the tissue sample that I took. And um, so far I haven't got with him. Uh, I was kind of wanting to do that before I put the video up so I can tell you what he said, but I may have to put it up anyway. Well, here are, that of course is my ram. He's looking really good. Not going to let me get a side shot, in, shot of him. That is the one I said just didn't grow off well. And he is Elvis number two, because he is worse than his, it wasn't even his mama, his aunt. He is crying all the time. So there's my ram. He looks pretty. He looks good. Looks nice. When I got him, he was skinny. But he really looks nice now. I would say he's a couple hundred pounds, thereabouts. And then this is Blaze. Obviously, they're cuter when they're babies <laughs> than they are when they grow up. But he's going to be a, a pretty, uh, I think, a pretty one and probably be a good daddy. I'm wanting, going to, uh, my nephew is going to get him and let him be his herd sire. And then he can sell him or kill him or eat him or whatever he wants to do. Now, that's the one that I castrated. And that may be why he's not growing off as fast. But he was just smaller. He was just, he, his, him and his uh, sister, I think, I think it was a boy and girl twin set up, just did not grow off. As quick as I thought they should and uh, that's the reason I sold their mama but anyway and I really liked her but I wanted to get down to eight and I had to make some some hard choices um, but that's him I'm gonna be eating him the little white one 
and then the big ram i'll keep him for another couple of years until i start uh till my ewes start getting uh, old and then i'll have to uh start keeping their their babies you know keep some of their babies then i'll have to get rid of him so um let me show you some of the pictures of the lambs of their lambs of this year's lambs lamb crop and it was a very very good year I'm I'm tickled. Did a did a made a real good sale. Uh, made quite a bit of money off of them. some pretty lambs. The ladies are laying around, and chocolate is always by herself. You know they they they're a, a flocking animal. They love to group together, and I just had to go down to the woods and find her. All seven of them came up, and she was hollering back in the back, and I thought. She might've got herself in trouble, hurt her leg, did something. And so I drove back there on the golf cart and she came a running. She just, she is a loner. <laughs> it's, it's funny how, how they all just grouped together. And it's a hot day, it's 100 degrees, 101, maybe more. And, uh, and some people ask me how they handle the heat. You know, they're sitting there panting. You can see them panting, but it doesn't seem to bother them. As long as they got plenty of good water. But she is, she is, uh, she's a loner. I don't know what it is about her. The rest of them will be grazing off in one area, and I'll look over them 20, 30 yards away. There she is. She's just a loner. So I guess that's good. It's all right. So there's my babies, my, my girls, my mamas. And uh, I've already shown you the, the other three. So I guess that's it. Good year, excellent year, excellent year. Katahdin sheep, get you some. We're gone.